All right, we're going to try this. So <clears throat> the way that this works is this has got, uh, I searched this planet out. This planet has the resource I want, selenium. Now, in order to harvest this, we need to go down to the ground and mine it. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is planetary scan it. Now, I've already done it, but I'm going to do it again just to show you what it looks like. Maybe I'll do it on this planet real quick. So my surface scanner on the left side says switch mode because I accidentally went to combat. That's fine. So here we go. So surface scanner pulls up my probe launcher. On the right side says six. So I can use six probes to scan this thing. Uh, so I'm just going to fire off a couple right away because I know it's a big planet. Bottom left corner, it'll say percentage mapped. So you need to get that percentage up to, I think, 90, and then it'll auto. So as you see the probes hit, they start scanning an area. There's five probes have hit. 88. Okay, so it's going to make me get closer because I don't know where those probes are missing. So you can see there's black area here because I missed. So there's six. Hopefully six gets me. I need two percent. There's an efficiency target you can see on the right side there. If I get it, cool. If I don't, I don't really care. This isn't the planet I want anyway. There it is. Okay, so surface scan's complete. Now I exit out of this. I look over here. And now it's going to give me a bunch of these surface signals, geologicals, where do I want to go, this kind of thing. Um, we have already scanned this planet, so we already knew where some of these were. We've already been down to the planet, so we've already done some of them. Um, I'm going to select number three, geological site number three. Doesn't matter which one you pick. They'll have different things at each one of them. So there's 26 sites I can land and mine. Um, I'm not 100% sure where Shark is right now, but Shark's with me. Uh, so I've selected signal three. I'm going to go in, I'm going to land on this site, and then we're going to start mining. Two million meters. I'm still in orbit. You want to do this shit slow. You can easily easily blow past your target and you want to come in at an angle you don't want to go in too steep uh, shark i don't know if you can see this if i'm streaming it but i am recording it and i'll put it on youtube so you can watch it if you want later So I'm 40,000 40, kilometers in the air, and I'm 80,000 kilometers from where I want to be. Uh, when it hits that drop point, I'll go into a cruise mode. And I'm just free floating. I have no control over my throttle. You can see it moving. It doesn't do anything. I want to aim at my target, but I don't want to crash into my target because I still want to come into orbit above it. I've got full power over to shields, um, not engines, because I didn't want to overshoot anything. I have no weapons on this Diamondback. Nobody should. Nobody will. I'm coming in on a place to land here. Um, all these rocks are good. Most of these will be mineable. So now what I'm looking for is a flat spot to land. I don't really see one nearby. I don't super want to drive down this cliff. Um, and I also don't want to have to drive up this cliff.
So I'm going to do is hit my landing gear. And when I get close to the ground, this is really rocky. I don't know where I'm going to land here. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Oh, so in the bottom of my radar there, you can see that there's a little pink zone. Or that's what I'm calling as the pink zone. That means a flat spot where you can land. So once it's pink like that, you have to align real slow and careful. This is why we do this in Diamondbacks. The bigger the ship, the bigger you have to find a flat spot. So we use the smallest ship possible. There we go. Finally touched down. Now, my engines shut off. My ship shuts down. I look down, or I think it's number three. We'll bring up your scarab. Deploy. So now I've got my uh, beacon on, so he can nav lock me and warp to me. It'll save him a lot of time. All those little white boxes on my radar are rocks that are mineable, and that's what we're here for. Um, so there's a thing called drive assist. You can see it up here. It's off for me. Highly recommend you turn it off. It's a throttle, but in stuff like this, it's just kind of a pain because you really want to just tap the throttle. I can also go into turret mode and just drive around and whenever I see those white squares select it and then shoot them. Your cargo scoop has to be down in order to pick materials up. And you have to have it selected. If I just drive over this I won't get anything. I'll show you what happens. You don't have to be in turret mode to shoot stuff. You can just be in drive mode and your turret will gimbal and auto lock, but it's a little tougher um, to see and to shoot. So this is the arsenic. Drive over it, got nothing. Have it selected. collected. So you have to, sh to shoot it off and then select it. And the type of rock that you shoot will present different materials. So this is a cobble. This is just a rock. So it's going to produce a low level mineral, phosphorus. Go back into drive mode. Um, drive mode, I can go to contacts and see, okay, well, that's the one I want. I want the crystalline one. So I can just avoid shooting everything and hunt down the one and only resource that I came to this planet for. Um, for you guys, this won't be an issue. Like, you guys need all the crafting materials, so you guys are going to do it the first way, where you just shoot every single rock and collect everything. This is what it's like to drive and shoot in drive mode. All right, and this is where I'm going to stop this video. Uh, I will show you how to find your ship and get back into docking after. I'm going to farm this planet for a couple minutes.